How and when did the galaxy learn that Darth Vader was Luke and Leia's father? Approximately 24 years after the Battle of Endor, in the canon novel Bloodline, we follow Leia Organa as she prepares for a campaign to become the New Republic's first senator. A new position that would hold considerable power in the Senate, particularly when it came to decisions regarding the use of the New Republic's military. And given Leia's role in taking down the Empire, as well as her actions as a member of the Senate after the war was over, she is a popular and respected candidate with a real chance at winning. But as the race picks up, one of Leia's political adversaries discovers a wooden music box with an inscription which reads, For Princess Leia Organa of Alderaan. Inside the box is a message from Leia's father, Bail Organa, recorded prior to Alderaan's destruction and intended for his daughter's eyes only. In the recording, Bail tells Leia about her true parents, Padme Amidala and Anakin Skywalker, adding the truth about who Anakin had become. The woman who found this box and played the message is hesitant to share her findings at first, but eventually she shares the truth with another member of her party, Senator Kasturfo, who'd grown very close with Leia in recent times and come to trust her a great deal. But Kasturfo also had history with Darth Vader, and he hated him with a passion. And so when he learns that the galaxy could soon fall under control of Vader's daughter, he panics. He interrupts a meeting on the Senate floor and reveals Leia's biggest secret for everyone to hear. In an instant, her political career is over, but that was just the beginning. Leia had been reluctant to run for this position in the first place, and had only really done so because she realized she had the best chance of anyone in her party at winning, and she didn't want to see such power fall into the hands of the other side. She could live with the galaxy now knowing the truth, no matter the amount of criticism and hatred she may take for hiding this reality from the galaxy. But the revelation also caused some members to question her brother Luke, who'd quite literally saved them all from the tyranny of Vader and Palpatine. That infuriated Leia, but Luke could handle such skepticism just fine, and although it might hurt Leia to hear people slandering her brother's name, she would be okay. The real tragedy in all of this was the impact the revelation would have on her son, for to this point, only two men in the galaxy had known who Leia's birth father was, and Ben Solo was not one of them. Now at 23 years old, Ben was a powerful Jedi apprentice, but with Snoke in his head, grooming him for all his life, and now really beginning to put the pressure on, Ben was also conflicted, and when he learns that both his mother and his uncle were the offspring of Darth Vader, and that they'd hidden that truth from him even now as a grown adult, Ben was shattered. His mother, who remained very busy trying to uncover who was behind the deep-rooted coercion and terrorist attacks geared toward the Senate, did send Ben an emotional and apologetic message in which she explained why she'd kept the truth from him for so long. But ultimately, Leia's failure here would prove catastrophic, as the mistrust shown toward Ben by his family would increase his conflict and contribute to his fall to the dark side shortly after. Leia, who devoted her entire life to defeating Vader and then to ensuring that his legacy would never be reignited stood completely helpless as both of her fathers were used against her. Bail Organa, who'd loved her and raised her like she was truly his own, and Vader, who'd tortured her firsthand, destroyed her home planet, and made her suffer in ways few could imagine. Leia had done what she felt was right for all those years, waiting for the right time to tell her son the truth. But her inability to overcome Vader's legacy, to face her greatest secret, her greatest fear, was backbreaking. And that's the thing that I find really tragic and sort of captivating in a dark and sad way. Even after Vader was gone, he still casted a dark shadow over his children, and they had to live with that and carry it every day. Luke took great pride and found some peace in knowing that Anakin had returned in the end, but Leia wasn't there for that, and she didn't have the compassion that Luke did for their father. She hated him, and that relationship affected her life in the worst way all the way until the very end. And the same is really true for Luke, despite his experience experiences with Anakin, as his fear of Ben Solo becoming a new Vader and his determination to prevent that from happening ultimately caused Luke's worst fears to come true. The Skywalker twins' fear of their father and his legacy got the best of both of them, and that's sort of what the sequels are all about, showing us how Vader's legacy affected his bloodline, and then also of course a similar situation for how Palpatine affected Rey, and then ultimately how Luke, Leia, Rey, and Ben are all able to overcome those realities stand up to their pasts, and embrace the fact that they are not defined by their parents or their grandparents' actions. But that will do it for me in this video, so comment your guys' thoughts on all of this down below, let me know what you think, thank you all so much for watching, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and remember, the Force will be with you, always.